Isn't this one of the most spectacular flowers you've ever seen? Orchids, I just love them. Take a look at my orchids. This is a brand new one. Just look at the color. You can see right there, starting to have a little bit of blooms left, so I can't wait for it to blossom. Here's another one of my orchids too. This one is a light yellow one. I love it. Look at those nice strong roots right there. They're coming out of the pot, but that's okay. I'm going to water them because they're looking a little pale and dry. But I'm down in my basement, and I'm going to do a little bit of emergency surgery here because dirt, dirt, dirt. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this one's not looking that great. Look at the roots. Yeah, it's all dry, and I think this was definitely root bound and mushy. I think I watered it too much, and now I'm going to try to save it. The reason why is because take a look at this the leaf right here looks nice and healthy. So I'm going to try to save this orchid as much as I can because I don't want to throw it out. Um, and you can see right here, it did have wonderful pink uh, petals so I want to really kind of save it um, I've had this orchid for about two years it did come in a pot so what I'm going to do is drill holes in the pot because it needs to aerate that's what orchids need it really needs to aerate and I'm going to change this median and put in new median and hopefully this orchid will survive so let's get to it so friends, it came into this pot. It came in this pot. You can see it has no holes in it. That was in here. So what I'm going to do is drill some holes to make sure it gets enough air because orchids really don't like to sit in moist containers. They like to be aerated. So I think that's what happened. That's the reason why these roots look so soggy. Um, this orchid has been sitting here for about a day. So I kind of dried it out before it was all wet and soggy and it just looked like a hot mess. So right now I'm going to drill some holes. Let's see. Okay, take off the safety. Oh. Okay, I'm going to drill about, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm trying to look at the pot to see if I need any other ones. Maybe one right here, I think. And maybe one on the top. We'll see. So let's move on to our next project. So what I'm going to do is take out all this dead median. You can see it's time for a change. What I'm going to do is just repot this orchid because it really needs time to uh, really readjust and get a whole new lease on life. So I'm just gonna try to save it as much as I can. I'm not gonna cut any of the roots. I'm just gonna leave it and just pot it and just give it some new median, new uh, substances so it can grow in and give it a chance. You can see it right here, it's very, mushy this part right it's like really mushy you can see it right here oh my goodness that i may have to cut being very careful with the head that is the sole body of the uh, orchid you don't want to disturb that you don't want to hurt this part because this is where all the beautiful leaves grow out of and this is what makes the uh the beautiful blooms so we don't want to disturb that. I'm going to unclip these clips, make it easier for myself. Like so. Another clip here. Another clip here. And another clip here. Folks, I got this uh, orchid from the big box stores. You know, when they sell them, I got it from there. So um, it was blooming so nice. And then I went and checked on it and I opened it and it smelled a little moldy. So I said, you know what? I have to do this emergency uh, 
surgery because if I don't do it, this orchid will die. So I removed this part of it nice and carefully, like so. Okay. So you can see what's going on here. It's a little spongy. I think we're good. I'm not going to, see this one's dead, this leaf is dead. So I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna let nature take its course. Um, I'm not an orchid ex expert. I just really like the way they look. So what I've been told is that you have to repot them. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. And you can see the nice thick roots here. They're looking nice and plump compared to the other ones. So we'll see what happens. Make sure you get into all the little crevices. As you can see, I'm not using the old medium because uh, it's old. So this one needs to give it a little bit more life. And I'm keeping the crown a little bit higher because if you get water in here, that's when uh, the whole plant dies. So you don't want to get water. So I'm, I'm keeping it as high as I can. Make sure you get into all the little crevices. Do a little bit more packing. Whoa, that was a blunder. That was not almost good. Thank goodness, I got some quick hands, folks. Make sure this is stabilized. See, we show everything on this channel because nothing is perfect, you know? All right, good. This is looking good. And the... Uh, I use, move this out of the way, Better Grow Special Orchid Potting Mix. And it's just for orchids because it gives them that aeration. Orchids don't sit in dirt. Uh, they don't like dirt. Actually, if they do sit in dirt, they will suffocate. So you don't want that. Perfect. And we're going to see how this little baby works. Now what I'm going to do is give it a nice, wonderful drink because it needs watering. And I'll show you how I'll do that. Okay. So you can see that I put on the, um, the iron rod that it came with. So it's nice and secure now. You can see. And what I did... This is the vase it came in. I filled it up with a half cup of water. So now I'm just gonna dunk the orchid in and give it a nice drink. Put it in there, like so. So I'm gonna leave it in there for a good, maybe 15 minutes, let it soak, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to carefully take it out. It's been soaking. And this is how you really want to water your orchids. You don't water, want to water it from above. You want to just give it a nice soak. So it's been soaking for about 15 minutes. I'm going to discard this water. Oops, you can see, I uh, want to make sure it drains. There's some water in here. I want to make sure all of that just drains out of it. So it's just no standing water. Okay. OK, 
Okay, so um, I placed, I took all the water out of here, placed the pot in, all of it, all the water is drained. It gave it a nice soaking. So we will see what happens to this orchid. Hopefully um, another leaf will grow from here or somewhere. The roots will expand and we'll just have to keep an eye on it. But I'm hoping that it will survive. But this is how you repot an orchid. Um, if you see that it, the roots are mushy or they're not doing well, just repot it with a new median and we'll just see what happens um, in a few months. So guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel, The Determined Gardener. I really appreciate all the subscribers. I have a, a, a good number, it's still small, but I am so appreciative of anybody and everybody that is tuning in and to watch my uh, my journey here when it comes to just gardening. I just love it so much. So thank you so much. Don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Support small channels like myself that are just love doing certain things like gardening and just loving to bring it to the world. So thank you again for uh, tuning into my channel, The Determined Gardener, and uh, thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>